Um, I'm glad to be here to present our work, BSM Better, uh, where we try to integrate the uh, semantic configurable uh, state merge models in a C program language, uh, sorry, C programming uh, environment, which is Embedder C. And here's a syllabus. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the background about MPS and Embedder and BSML. And then the um, and BSML and better syntax and language features. And then I'm going to talk, talk about uh, like, um, how the state machine model is going to uh, interact with the C environment, the configure semantics, test and case studies, and finally the challenges we have met when we do this work and uh, the conclusions. So first, what is uh, MPS? The metaprogramming system is a language workbench to grade DSLs. It has this uh, projection editor. And uh, when we want to uh, create a new DSL, uh, DSLs, we need to define several language aspects with the MPS. First, the structure, which is basically the abstract syntax. And then the editor, which is the concrete syntax of the language. And finally, the generator, which specifies how the model that is written in your DSL is going to be translated in some base language and uh, some other language aspects. And MPS supports Java as a default base language, while Embedder uh, provides C as a base language. So if you look at this picture at the highest level, those are DSLs that the, the language will create that are going to be uh, trans uh, converted into uh, models in base language. And finally, the textual C code, which can be uh, compiled by C compiler and for execution. And the embedder really provides a DSL that supports for uh, creating state machine models uh, with uh, relatively simple uh, executing semantics. So now the question comes, why we choose uh, embedder and why we choose C as the platform? Uh, so M MPS embedder, it, uh, it's a powerful language workbench to extend uh, C with DSL, uh, DSLs. Uh, it allows us to reuse existing embedder language components such as C expressions that would uh, significantly reduce our uh, implementation uh, complexity. And at the same time, we can utilize uh, the other DSLs built on better. For example, if we, in our language, if we define some containers that we can use C expressions, that means we cannot just only use the C expressions in better, but also the language components that define other DSLs that inherit C uh, expressions. And uh, finally, there is a need to bridge the gap between low-level C and high-level state, state machine models in embedded system areas. So we have that requirement. All right, the other side, the BSML, it is a family of state machine model language um, with uh, semantic variations. That the semantic variations that are the basis, they are the base of our config configurable semantics. A big step, it starts uh, with the event being triggered, and then the event uh, processed with multiple small steps. After all those small steps ends, the big step is done, and we deliver the output. One important trait of the BSML is that we allow inconsistent intermediate results uh, within a big step, because uh, the execution within a big step, the effects are not observable until the end of a big step. So here we have some uh, illustration of uh, the execution of big step. Uh, big step starts with accepting an environment input, and uh, in the first small step, the environment input triggered one transition in one of our concurrent regions, and in the next small step, it starts to trigger more transitions, and in the second one, we are triggering more transitions in uh, some other uh, concurrent regions, and uh, then we are done with the transition, and we deliver output the environment. Okay, so why we need, uh, why we choose MPSML and uh, why we need this config configurable semantics? The reason is that uh, the state machine models, they are used uh, cross domain. For example, in a car, we have the power window system to control the car. Uh, uh, like we need the control system for elevator and the control system for uh, space shuttles. So we have multiple domains that need the state machine models. And uh, the semantic demand for different domains, or sometimes even different models, they can be very different because those areas, they have different terminologies. 
And uh, uh, also, there is uh, previous evidence showing that the modelers, uh, they are trying to use a wider set of annotations, semantics, so they want more flexible semantics in the language. OK, so BSML Embedder, um, it supports for creating semantically configured state machine models on um, Embedder C. On one side, it allows the state machine models interacting with C code. And on the other side, uh, it has the semantic, uh, configurable semantics. OK, so here is the syntax and language features of a language. I'm going to give some examples that you know what the BSM embedder code is like. So on the left side, let's see, we have a main, re main region. With this region, we have two states, uh, an off state and an on state. The off is a simple state, and an on state is a composite state which has two concurrent regions, R1 and R2. And within each concurrent regions, we have two, tr uh, two uh, states and uh, there's a bunch of uh, transitions among those states. So on the right side is the code. So first we, uh, we have a state machine defined, my S, whose name is my SM, and uh, under which we have the region, the main region, whose initial state is uh, off state. And then we define uh, some uh, events and then some variables I'm going to talk about later, and then some transitions. And uh, the off state, the on state, under the on state, we defined the entry block, and then uh, concurrent region, region one, and within region one, we have state A1, state A2, another transition, and the transition is associated with the action, so that whenever the transition is executed, the action is also going to be executed and then region two. Okay, so here are some uh, language features we have. First is um, environment argument, uh, sorry, event argument. So f when we declare the event, the event can be declared with argument whose, uh, uh, whose type uh, is a normal C type. So that means it can be either a simple C type like Boolean, long or integer, or it can be uh, the user defined C type. Uh, event binding. So the event can be bound to uh, C functions so that when the event is generated, the function is also going to be called. Like here in this example, the function is actually defined uh, in the C coding environment. So guard condition. So any transition, they can have a Boolean value as a guard condition. So the transition is enabled only when the condition is true. In this example, we have defined uh, uh, Boolean variable and use it as a uh, guard condition of one of the transition. The state machine variable it can be uh, tagged as static. Static means that uh, it's not going to be reinitialized when the defining region is re entered. So they are going to keep the value. And uh, just like the type of the event argument, the type of the state machine variables, they are also just a normal C type. They can be a simple C type or they can be compound type that are defined by the users. So uh, under uh, state or region, we can define, optionally define this entry block so that the entry block is executed whenever the regional uh, states are entered. And we can perform this function calls in action or guard condition of uh, our transition, or we can also do this uh, in an entry block. If we want to do function call in a guard condition, then its return value must be a boolean. And of course, generate events. So when we generate events, then the events is going to be enabled in this uh, big step. And the triggers of the transitions, uh, we can have multiple of them. So that means the, enable, the transition is enabled only when all of those triggers, they are uh, trigger events, they are, are present. And also we can negate those uh, triggers. So if they are negated, that means the transition is enabled not by the presence of the event, but by the absence of the event. 
okay, I have uh, listed uh, the language features of BSM Embedder here. So first, the uh, code model interaction. We can mix the state merge models and the C code together and the interaction among between them. And hierarchical, we have hierarchical states and concurrent regions within the state machines. We can have cross hierarchy transitions. That means you can, the, the transition, the source and state, source and target state of the transition doesn't necessarily need to be within the same region, but you can transit from any state to another state. And uh, like I showed in previous slides, we have the event arguments, we have uh, event binding, we, have, we can have multiple triggers for transition. Uh, the triggers can be negated. We can have uh, entry blocks defined under region or states. Uh, we can have state merge variables, then they can be static. And we can do function calls. So next, what is the BSM better code like in as a C coding environment? So here is some example of the environmental code. So here we have a um, main function. We have defined a local variable whose type is a pointer to uh, the uh, state version type we just defined. And SM start is basically a statement that creates an instance of this uh, state machine and returns a um, uh, handle to that instance. After we get it handled, then we can use this handle to trigger events for that state merge instance. And we created more uh, state merge instances, we call functions, we, we triggered more um, events, and then we use SM terminate to terminate this state machines. And we define more functions I will talk about later. And we define this handle out function here, which uh, is uh, bound to that all event so that whenever that uh, event is uh, generated, this function is going to be called. And then there's another uh, function called query function, which is also used in that state machine that is called directly in that, uh, from that state machine. So let's see what other features we have in the environmental code. First, we can uh, generate multiple instances of the same state machine type, and they can run concurrently. And also for each SM trigger statement, we can generate multiple uh, in events within the same environment input. And most importantly, this uh, state merging handles, they are implemented as first class citizen in the coding environment. What does it mean? First, it can be used as a return value of the function. So we can use a function that returns the uh, SM handle we can do point reference, we can get an address, we can pass this handle as um, an actual argument of the function. And if you want to play more with it, because this state merging type is uh, just a normal user defined C type, you can even pass the handle to a state machine. You can, you can uh, sorry, pass it uh, as uh, argument of an event and pass it into that state machine and then you can use that, uh, you can do a bunch of stuff with that uh, handle in the execution of the state machine. So here's a brief summary about the interaction and the embedding uh, between the C code and the state machine language. So first interaction. How can we interact from C to the state machine? Like I said, we can use the SM start, SM trigger, SM uh, terminate statements uh, to uh, uh, in C, and we can use the SM trigger to uh, trigger environment input to that state machine to uh, to drive the execution of the state machine. And uh, in order to uh, interact from the state machine to C, we have the event binding. So when we generate uh, events in the state machine, they were going to call the C functions that are bound to that uh, event. Uh, from the language embedding perspective, what other state machines uh, elements we have inside the C environment? So we have those, uh, like as a trigger, we have those uh, expressions and the statements 
that drive the execution of uh, state machines. And they are implemented as normal C expressions. So that means we can use those statements to uh, drive the state machine whenever, just like the other C expressions, we can use the whenever the other C expressions can be used, like in a function body or as a, a initial expression of a global variable. And what are the elements, uh, what are the C elements we have within the state machine models? We can use the C expressions or types in either action, guard condition of transition, or entry block, or deflation of variables within a region. So we try to use the C expressions as much as possible inside our state machine models that would make the user easier to define the state machine models and make it more powerful. All right, configure semantics. Uh, this is also an interesting part, but uh, since uh, we don't have much uh, contribution to this part, I'm going also only uh, talk about this very briefly. So there is previous work that deconstructs the semantics of BSML into mostly orthogonal semantic aspect, and uh, each semantic aspect, they have uh, several semantic options. And uh, our BSML better, we, are, we have implemented a a significant subset of the BSML semantics. We have 12 semantic aspects and more than 30 semantic options. So here are some examples. Um, one of the semantic aspects is called big step maximality. The option take many says you can execute uh, as many transitions you can in the big step. And the option take one says only one transition can be executed in each concurrent region, syntactic option says uh, you can tag uh, some state and stable state, and whenever you enter that stable state, then you are done with that uh, concurrent region. Uh, another semantic aspect called uh, event lifeline uh, specifies uh, how long an uh, event should uh, last inside a uh, big step. So the option present in remainder says the event can be present for the rest of big step, uh, present in next small option says the generated event can only present in the next small step and then disappear. So here's a screenshot of our semantic configuration. We can create one semantic configuration item per uh, embedded program. And as you see, we have a list of uh, semantic aspects here, and for each aspect, we can select option. Um, yeah, so we have systematically designed test cases that cover language features and semantic options. And we have performed the three case studies that exercise different aspects of the language. Okay, so what are the challenges we have when we're uh, doing this engineering work? Uh, first, I think, is the long determinism. So BSML, it considers all the possible execution paths and randomly picks one to execute. That could be very costly. And the BSML better, we actually resolve the long determinism by the texture order. So whenever there's some uh, priority we can't define, then we refer to the texture order. So whoever defined first has the higher priority. And uh, uh, this leads to linear priority of transitions. And based on linear priority, we can calculate a single execution path with the highest priority with that uh, small step. So we don't need to explore all the possible execution path. And that reduces the compu computation and the implementation complex complexity. Um, the next challenge is to implement the big step uh, semantics. That means the big step, the execution of a big step, must not be observable until the end of a big step. So how to achieve that? So to, ch to achieve this, we uh, defer the call to a bound function to the end of a big step, and we bind operations within a state machine, like assignment to global variables, pointer to reference, call to long query functions, call to imported functions, any stuff that is possible to, uh, to change the environment inside uh, execution of a state machine. And adding new language features, when we add a new language features, we need to give it appropriate uh, meaning that neither confuses modeler 
nor conflicts with existing uh, syntax and semantics of BaseML. And uh, because we have uh, configured semantics, we need to decide we need to decide whether the semantics should be fixed or configurable. And uh, event with multiple instances. Uh, basically, the question is what will happen if we have multiple instances generated for the same event? Uh, evolving semantic configuration, the question is what will happen to a model if we leave the, uh, if the model's associated the semantic configuration has changed. Uh, the last one is multiple instance of a state machine. So if we uh, have multiple instance of the same state machine, how to let them run concurrently without any interference? Okay, uh, here's the conclusion. So we have uh, integrated BSML into Embedder. We uh, um, have hierarchical states, concurrent regions. We have language features that the that user to develop a model and interact with C code easier. And we have configured semantics, and we have this interaction with C code. That's all.